often hear about automation of repetitive workflows with the objectives of streamlining data from multiple sources and achieving automated model updates. In this video, I'm going to show you how this can be achieved within InfoWorks WS Pro. Before moving to the automation process, we need to start with the definition of the workflow that we are going to automate. So, we will start by going very quickly through the model builder process within the software. Let's begin by importing points, whether they are fixed heads, nodes, or hydrants. This operation is performed by opening the Open Data Import Center, which allows us to choose the destination table, the source file, which in this example is a shape file, and cross-match external data fields by mapping to the corresponding fields within the InfoWorks database. In this example, we're importing valves and pump stations, which are generally represented as points in GIS systems. Since they're modeled as links in InfoWorks, we can use its Open Data Import Center tool that includes built-in functionality to automatically convert those points into zero-length links. As a final step, we can import pipes. We're going to open the data import center and run it as asset ID rather than upstream and downstream nodes, which are not always available in our external GIS systems. The important process is quickly done, but because pumps and valves have been imported as zero length links, we're now going to use external tools to expand short links. If we were to take a close look at the pump station, we can see that within the same point of the geo plan, we have the pump station and we have upstream and downstream pipes and nodes. Not to be concerned from a hydraulic point of view, but inaccurate with reference to the link direction. So we can quickly expand these short links by se selecting all the objects within the geo plan and by using the dedicated built-in tool. The report indicates that two links have been expanded and we can now review the link direction to make sure that pumps and valves are all facing the right direction. In this example, we have implemented an SQL query that compares upstream pipe ID referenced within the valve or pump object information that came from our GIS system with the upstream pipe from our topological trace. Here, for example, our upstream pipe ID is called borehole. We're going to compare the information that came from GIS and from the modeling trace results. We can then use an SQL query to analyze all pump station and all valves directions and fix those that have different upstream pipe references. At this point, we have up-to-date geometry that we can use for our analysis and for moving to the workflow automation process. We can start by generating the config files that we're going to use for the GIS data import. The process is the same as the manual workflow, with the exception that we're not running the open data import center now. Instead, we are simply saving a config file to an external location which we'll make reference in our script. We can then start to write up our script and we can simply use Notepad for that. We have to start by defining the objects we're going to work with. In this example, it's the network that is opened in my geo plan. The next step is the automation of what we did earlier in our open data import center. Here is where we write that we are importing data from a shapefile. It's in the config file we've just created.
We will start by importing fixed heads from the external shapefile named borehole saved at this location. We are then going to perform the same operation for nodes, hydrants, reservoirs, pump stations, valves and pipes following the exact same process that we defined in our manual model build. Once we are done, we can simply save the file using the RB extension to indicate that this is a Ruby script. We can now run the script from the InfoWorks WS Pro user interface, and we can see that it is automatically importing all of the model objects from the external GIS file. Now we need to expand the short links. We can write a script to quickly select all the link objects, followed by the common lines to expand short links capability that we saw in the user interface. Again, we can simply save the Ruby script and run it from the user interface. And we will now see that short links have been expanded, but we'll still have the problem of the wrong link direction. Next, we are running the SQL query to infer link directions. Finally, our script is completed. All objects have been imported, short links expanded, and pumps and valves are now all facing the right direction as it was in the GIS system. Our very final step is to use the common action tool to associate the script to a button in the InfoWorks user interface, enhancing the user experience without having them to run the Ruby script.